The Peach Award for Outstanding Actor in a Major Role has been won in years past by the likes of Wyatt Geist, Phil Lewis, Jason Peck, Matt Shedler, and Stanley M. Dittis. And John Karnofsky. <laughs> Not necessary. Thank you. <laughs> this year, four more nominees have a chance to be added to that list. Here to present the award for Outstanding Actor in a Major Role are Sharon Galuzzo and Chris Berg. Started. So he's backstage working his lines for the next show, and he's arranged for directors to be in the audience to audition for the show after that. <laughs> but uh, Gus sent some words that he'd like me to read for. I'm so sorry I can't be here tonight, but I would never miss my chance to say some much deserved thank yous. To Deb Grannon, thank you for the incredible gift of this role. Getting to experience George's emotional journey was an exhausting and exhilarating gift. I truly can't thank you enough. Thank you to the rest of the cast and crew. You made Bedford Falls absolutely come alive, and only because it was so real was I able to take George on his roller coaster journey. One of the particular joys of a role like this was that I got to have scenes with just about everyone in the cast. That rarely ever happens, and I'm so grateful considering all the incredible talent we had, especially with all our remarkable young actors. Audrey, you completely melted my heart every single time. Thank you for that. A special thank you to Deb and Hannah Cox for highlighting my six bajillion lines on the night I forgot my script at home. <laughs> they were highlighting before and during the actual show, and I loved them for it. Dan Marchenko, I have admired you as a human being and a force for good for several years now. To stand on that stage and have you as my guardian angel was a complete honor and privilege. I loved every single second of those scenes. 
Thank you for everything you put into Carrie Player's organization. I will be indebted forever. At each performance, when all of Bedford Falls rushed into George's home at the end, throwing money and kind words, I just fell apart each night. I struggled a lot in my younger years and frequently considered taking the same route that George attempts. In that end scene, when the stage filled with people, I didn't see Mr. Martini and Harry and Violet and everyone else. I saw Pat and Nicola and Jonathan and Victoria and all of those people that I cared about and realized that I would have missed out on every single one of them had I made a different choice all those years ago. That moment of shame and relief and joy swept over me and it was one of the most cathartic things I've ever experienced. And of course, I had to experience it six times just to make sure I don't ever forget it. <laughs> I would say to anyone struggling with hardships, grab onto anyone and anything you can and suffer through it. It will get better. You will find your place and it will be worth it. Thank you so very much.